Greetings and welcome to Factorio. I'm Dgrim and today we continue into level 2 Megabase where in the last episode just got our iron production up and running which is running very very nicely. Uh, in today's episode we will then look at expanding out our green circuits. To get to our 2k science per minute minimal goal at the moment we'll need just shy of 70,000 green circuits being produced per minute and right now this one is producing about 10k per minute so we need to make something that's about 7 times as big. Um, one thing I also want to do instead of just copying this over is um, make sure it's fully compressed so I will have done a bit of redesign on one of these just making sure it runs full speed with a bit of help from one of our community so um, I'll use that blueprint going forward. So if you think that's a good idea, do remember to leave a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, do remember to subscribe as well. So um, yeah, let's just build the 70k production of what we need and uh, see if we can not find a good place to do it. Um, kind of want to maybe just start over here. I have expanded, or maybe up here somewhere, but right now we've expanded out this way and that way. So we might want to go over here as well. So... Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll figure out a good place to do our green circuits. The reason why I'm spacing it out is to make sure we don't have too much conge congestion in each area. And I think over here could be a good place to start some more. So uh, let's build the new one over here. Just one, and then I will do the other ones uh, with a bit of editing magic. So let's go to... you can stay right there. I'll be fine. So I do have a blueprint I want to use. I will show you why in just a second. As you've seen me craft a lot of uh, beacons built so far for green circuits. And this one is just about one, what's it called, um, green circuit per second more. So we actually fill up of a full, uh, full belt. So while what's called the robots are getting in, Let's also set up our train depots. We know we'll need two. We'll need pretty much both of these. Maybe just take out the same here. It'll probably work. So if we copy that and also take the train set names. So we actually have them set it to iron and copper. That'll make our life a bit easier. So right here. Boom. And then maybe we'll have to change a bit with the, with how these work. As uh, I'll want to make two main buses below. That can, can handle this. There we are. Robots on the way. They're gonna collect all the things we need. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we need them over here. And uh, yeah, they will remove the trees. They will place in all the things we need. So that is very, very good. So we'll be back in just a second after robots have cleared that out, this out and uh, the things have been built. So see you then. So the robots have cleared out the area. And now we're ready to see how big we can actually make this grid. As I said, I have a blueprint ready as uh, me redesigning it one more time is not really something that's very exciting to see. So first, let's see how many we can actually fit in. Um, if you just do one here, this will give us uh, what we need. What I want to finish is see if we can do eight. I think uh, if we look at our current design for our copper, the space is the same. Or close to at least. So we should be able to hopefully fit in eight. That is at least what I'm I'm counting on. Um, so what if we just started here? Because I don't think we can do... No, because then we don't have enough outputs. Because for each input we also need an output. For four of these. So if we do eight, that's two at the bottom. And then we probably need... Some at the top. Let's just try this and see how big the grid is. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, nine will be a bit too much. So what if we just can we line this up a bit better? What if we make it about here? Two. Four, six, eight. I'll do eight because that's easier to manage with the uh, with the trains. Let's see. What if we do it here? I 
think it looks good. That'll give us quite a bit of um, things going in. We will expand this out to all of these. And say this will be our current grids. There we are. So um, if you look at this blueprint, the only thing that's really changed is that things moved down one and we added the beacon to both of um, the simple machines as they were a bit lacking in terms of speed. And right here you see, on the outside, on the inside, so that goes to merge correctly. And this one down here goes to the outside and on the outside merging into the same side here. Also each side. So um, in this way, we have a very, very nice blueprint that should uh, serve us very well going forward. Is it right in the middle? Uh, close enough because it's only one, two steps that, so... It, it, it looks pretty good like this. So to get this out, we'll need two loading stations. Can, in theory, just steal it from over here. As this has uh, the correct blueprints. So what if we just take you. And place you down here and the other one over here. Might want to move or delete that part and move it a bit. But other than that, it should do what we need. The name is Green Circuit Loading. Green Circuit Loading. And then we just get all of the outputs hooked up and ready to go. So um, let's hook up the outputs first while these are being built. All the modules are being imported. And then we'll do it from there. So firstly, four lines. One, two, three, four. You can go to here. The rest will go as well. Up to here, so we'll have one that goes straight down. You can go here. And then this one will go right there. That is the four going out here. Then the side over here, we'll have to do exactly the same. Uh, except just mirror it. So maybe what if we do this? If we take you away. We'll take that. Well, we'll, we'll hook it up again so it shouldn't be too bad. And we take you. I want to do here. I'll start on here, it's easier. Take that, just to here, and then we'll flip it, an F, and then line it up over here. So it has to line up maybe a bit higher, as we need things to go in a bit differently. That's how things look. So what if we do it about here? One, two, three, four. And you can go away a bit. We'll have you going in this way. You'll go straight down there and you'll go this way. That'll go in. You will go here. There. Here and there we are. So that is all the outputs sorted, giving us uh, a lot of green circuits uh, for what we need. The last modules are slowly but surely flowing in. Belts as well. And uh, as soon as that, it, that is done, we can pretty much shake it here. We'll have these times 8. That'll produce 22,000 per, uh, per minute. Since we need about 66, or about 70. If we do three, about three of these, might have to go to four, but at least three. We should have all we need to produce 2k signs a minute. Input wise, for one, we need um, each one of these. Oh, we actually need quite a lot. Do we need to have two more train stops? 
Yeah, because we need more than, than half. Um, yeah, we can't split them up. We'll have to give each of them their own uh, own separate belt, full belt. So we need two more inputs, because over here we only had uh, look, one for each. So let's just double this. So you'll take you. You'll go here on the side. Um, let's just do a normal one to do it correctly. That one. And then we can do... That will be a copper one. And then we'll do an iron one over here. Just because then we can mix it a bit easier. And get them in as needed. So the belts. This one will be the iron. Or the copper, sorry. We'll do four lines. This will be the iron. If we just go up this way. Or we can very do it with undergrounds instead. Let's see. Copper lines goes in from here. So one, two, three, four. So that's one. That's two. Three. Four. And you'll hook up from there. One, two, three, four. Then we'll have number one. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. We'll go here to that. It'll be four. Going this way. So that is all the copper flowing in from this one. And in theory, we just mirror that over here. Oh, we do have copper up there. So we might have to do it a bit differently on the other side. Because we already have it in. We should probably have gotten copper in here instead. Uh, can we shift that around some easy way? Yeah, we have 22k here. So um, do I want to solve it is the question. Um, now we'll just have you go into the iron ones instead. It's pretty much the same setup. We'll just jump the other one. That is fine. That means we'll do here instead. So you'll be there. And one, two, three, four. Ooh, and let's remember to do it in the correct one. Otherwise we'll be in serious trouble. And number four. Let's connect you, get you connected up. One, two, three, four. And four. Let's just steal you from over here, as I know how it looks. If so, you'll go there. Making things a bit. This copy function is so good to have when, when building like this. It saves you quite a bit of hassle when, when setting up and planning. Then you'll be iron. Iron in. You'll start to flow. Then we have the copper and the, um, the iron. So firstly... I don't know if we just do it underground the whole way. looks pretty decent and can you do this we probably can let's do that and remove the belts so here yeah and ooh, it just fits in perfectly so we'll have one two We'll go over here and down. We'll go to here and down. We'll go around this way. And down. Ooh. And I'll connect it up. That should be 
fine, but let's just wait a second with it. And you'll go... Something like that. The same over here. Let's grab all of you. We know the distance is the same, but we have to remember to go into a different one. There we are. Damn it. I need to hold shift when doing this, so we get into blueprints, so I can move the belts. And then you have to go in right here instead. And look, that fits in very nicely as well. You'll we'll have to take all of you. F, flip you around to about here. Then we can have you. Oh, we'll probably have to do these by hand, as they are a bit different. But not a lot. So there, 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 there. That will be iron, copper, going into the copper line, going into the iron line. And yeah, let's just get things going. You'll be... Unfair, we can just do this. Let's copy these two. To right there. And copy this one to right here. This is going to activate a lot of our base. Probably need to have some more uh, copper plates <laughs> uh, trains going when this is finally done. Well, let's just hook this up and get things flowing. There we are. These are all connected up. Things are going in. I'll start to go into these. That will start to get things flowing and they will start to output to the area down here. Giving us 22k green circuits per minute. Let's just watch it in action. And the reason why I want fully compressed belts is that um, a fully compressed belt takes up the less UPS, which is one of the main issues with mega bases, is that at some point UPS will start to struggle a bit. That is flowing. Fully compressed in just a second. There we are. Fully compressed. Look at that beauty. Green circuits, green circuits. There goes the other one. We'll have a ton of trains delivering raw uh, resources for us. But the, this is pretty much how I want it to look. Very, very nicely. So uh, here we go. It's not com completely 22 because we're producing a small amount. Oh wait, we don't. We're 22, yeah. Delimited a bit by the belts. But in theory, if you do 8 times um, 2.7, you'll get the correct number. So, 8 times 2, 2.7. 21,600. So, 4 of these scripts, and we have everything we need to uh, to build the mega base. Um, I won't set them up now. I will probably do it later. There's no re reason to just yet. But this will kick start our uh, red circuit production again which is lacking green circuits, and it will kickstart our um, blue circuits, which is also heavily reliant on green circuits, so we can get more modules built. As you can see, that is uh, also lacking in a lot of departments. So, um, yeah, I will end the episode here. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Do comment what you think about uh, this build. I think it looks pretty beautiful. And, uh, and with that, do remember to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you're new. And join me on Twitch. I stream there quite often at the moment. So um, hopefully I'll see you there. And with that, thank you so much for watching. I've been Deep Ray, and I'll see you in the next episode.